Alright guys, today we're out here on Hirschfeld and once again to keep searching for the two rares we need of this reserve, which are the Melanistic Fallow Deer and the Melanistic Pheasant. I'm still sick, so my voice is still kinda rough, but that won't prevent us from visiting some multiplayer sessions where apart from having a certain chance to come across one of these rares, we may also stumble onto something nice like this Max Estimate Bison Track. He may be the second Diamond Bison of the week, this time on this location, which is actually an area where it is not that common to come across Bison herds, so it would be very nice to find a Diamond here right off the bat. Alright, that's the herd. We got a couple females there. I'ma shoot one of them. Let's see. We hit the heart. You know, the shot was actually lower than I wanted, but luckily we managed to hit the heart and even clip the left lung. Not a bad start, now let's go for the max estimate. Alright guys, let me know down in the comments what you think the next great one will be. I personally would love to see a great one European bison or a great one mule deer, but what you think guys, I wanna see your opinions. Ok, there's a bull over there, which I imagine is the big one. Well, it's actually the big one, but it's a level 4, up to 286. He's roughly at 100 meters, but he's going out of sight now. And that female just started running this way. So hopefully the max estimate will do the same in a moment. I would expect him to do so, but in the meantime, we're gonna shoot this female. And there comes the max estimate. Let's drop him. He is down, he got absolutely destroyed. Now let's see how big it is, he may be massive. You know, I've never seen a level 4 diamond European bison, but the other day I saw a 269.3 scoring level 4 posted, which was incredibly close to diamond, and I believe that is the biggest level 4 I've ever seen. So I think there is a good chance these guys can actually make it below max level, although I've never seen or heard of one. And well, this guy is not too far, 259.1, big bison. My biggest level 4 was a 264 I believe, and I would say that everything above 255 can be considered a massive bison. Alright guys, we are still on the same session, and this time I came across the track of a potential level 3 road deer. We are currently on this area, and right now is the road deer rest time, so the plan will be to spot him while he's resting and ambush him to avoid having to do a long chase on such a dense area, because tracking a road deer here can be tough. Oh look, that's the zone, he must be there, probably behind one of those rocks. Unfortunately we don't have full cover here, but luckily I have the caller, so I'ma do a few calls and hopefully he'll show up soon. Alright, he hasn't responded, but I just heard something there, he is definitely on the zone, but we just cannot see him. So I'ma go on top of this rock to get a better view of that area. Let's see. And there he is. Oh. And he looks absolutely massive. He may be level 3 actually. You know he has the small level 3 rag, so it could be. Well, it's just a giant level 2 potential diamond though. The odds are not great, although it is possible, so I'ma make him stand up with the collar, and I'ma drop him using the 243 Como. He is down. Let's see how big it is. Oh, come on. We are having connection issues, it doesn't let me claim it. And finally, 77.5, he's a really big level 2, close to diamond, and I wonder if we'll ever finally manage to find one that actually makes it. Talking about a level 2 diamond road here, they are really hard to find. Ok, same session, now on this location, really close from where I got the road here, and this time I stumbled onto the track of a potential level 5 wall bore. 
he may be the first trophy of the hunt, and I would say there is a good chance because the wild boar is one of the most common diamonds on Hirschfelden. So let's go try to find it, he may be huge. That's a level 1 female, another female, a level 3 over there next to a level 2, so one of those may be the big one, but they are all females. Where is him? There are no signs of the max estimate here apart from the tracks. He seems to be way ahead of the group. Over there. There's a level 3, level 2, and I believe I saw a third one. Level 4, max estimate. Finally, we're gonna have a chance to drop him, it was quite a long chase. And that's it, should be single long. He won't be massive because the top estimate was way below the diamond score, and in fact, 124.93 is not an impressive score. What was actually impressive was the tracking distance, 3.15 kilometers. Alright guys, as you can see now we're out here on the Auroa because today I decided that it was a good day to start a proper grind for a melanistic fallow deer and see if we can finally get him after more than 5 years trying to find one without any success. I actually started setting up all the tents and tripods about a week ago. I didn't have to discover all the zones because I had already discovered most of them back when I made the guide and the hotspot maps here on the Awaroa, so it was way easier to choose the right position for each tent and tripod knowing exactly where the zones are. And as soon as I had all 16 possible tents on the ground, I decided to start the grind right away. And actually, after only 52 kills, we have the first level 5 of the grind which is pretty much a guaranteed diamond because that rack never trolls. So we're gonna drop him using the Sarsa 308. He's head on, so a hard shot would be a nice option, although now he's moving. And he's gonna give us a broadside angle. I would also like to drop that level 3, so as soon as one of them lowers his head, I'ma drop him both. That's it. Here we have it, we know it is guaranteed the first diamond of the hunt, but I wanna see exactly what it scores. Not before taking a nice picture though. Alright, now let's see. 263.24, decent size diamond. It is the first trophy of the grind, a grind that I hope won't be too long. Alright, now we're 174 kills in, and on this location, I just spotted the second guaranteed diamond, level 5. He has a similar estimate to the last one, so I would expect him to score about the same. And on this occasion, instead of using the Sarsa 308, I wanna drop him using the crossbow, but not in a conventional way, because I wanna take a 100 meter shot with it. We are 130 meters out, almost there. Now we're at 107 and he's perfectly broadside, so let's go for it. Well, a female just got in the way. Let's try here. And... He is down. We just dropped the second diamond of the grind right before hitting 200 kills, which is quite surprising actually. It normally takes more than 100 kills per diamond, so getting 2 before reaching 200 is not too bad. This guy is a 262.49, he has a similar score to the last one and similar weight, so I'm attack it, and let's continue. A label 4, albino, fallow deer. 
not even 350 kills in and there we have the first rare of the grind, which is actually on the same location where we found the first level 5, right on this lake. And being this guy is such a special trophy, I would love to drop him using the recurve. So we're gonna sneak up to it and once we get to about 40 meters, we're gonna take a few nice pictures and then I'ma shoot him. He's about 60 meters out. And I would say that if we really wanna take a few nice pictures, the best we can do is to just stay here and call him in. So I'ma use the caller and he should get really close because the wind is perfect. Alright, he's coming in. 44 meters away now and he's alert, so I'ma take a few pictures here. Not too bad, that's a good one. Now let's see if we get a chance to drop him. He's still alert. Now attentive. And apparently he's drinking again. Luckily we can actually take advantage of this and get even closer because he's facing the other way and he cannot see us. You know, as long as he's facing the opposite direction, he won't be able to notice us. Okay, I'ma make a call here. And as soon as he turns around, we will drop him. Let's see. He is down. The first rare of the grind is a beautiful level 4 albino fallow deer. I don't recall getting one this big, so this could very well be my best ever trophy fallow deer. That's amazing. <laughs> 